I want to watch this video. It says Biden addresses the nation after Trump's election victory because apparently now because Kamala has lost the election it seems like the blaming game has already started and there's some news that they're trying to put the blame on Biden that Kamala has lost because of Biden I don't know what's the real reason about that but I just want to watch what what she's going to say so we, let's do that together Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. Please. Thank you. Good to see this cabinet and the staff together. <laughs> Good to see the cabinet and staff together. <laughs> so these are all employees. That's what they. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. yeah. Good to see you all. Yeah. Oh, particularly good to see my granddaughter sitting in the front row here. Okay. That's in Hawaii, honey. For over 200 years, America has carried out the greatest experiment in self-government in the history of the world. And that's not hyperbole, that's a fact. For the people, the people vote and choose their own leaders and they do it peacefully. And we're in a democracy, the will of the people always prevails. Yesterday, I spoke with President-elect Trump to congratulate him on his victory. And I assured him that I direct my entire administration to work with his team to ensure a peaceful and orderly transition. That's good. That's what he he should he should do. That's that's really good. That's what the American people deserve. Yesterday I also spoke with Vice President Harris. She's been a partner and a public servant. She ran an inspiring campaign and everyone got to see something that I learned early on to respect so much. Her character. She has a backbone like a ramrod. She has great character, true character. She gave her whole heart and effort, and she and her entire team should be proud of the campaign they ran. You know, the struggle for the soul of America since our very founding has always been an ongoing debate and still vital today. I know for some people, it's a time for victory, to state the obvious. For others, it's a time of loss. Campaigns are contests of competing visions. The country chooses one or the other. We accept the choice the country made. I've said many times, you can't love your country only when you win. You can't love your neighbor only when you agree. Something I hope we can't yeah, you have to be graceful in, in defeat. Uh, when you win, you are jubilant, like exciting, but the same, same is true when somebody loses. You know, when, when you lose, accept it gracefully. Trump, what, what he did is, is remarkable. It's like the greatest comeback in this generation. To see each other not as adversaries, but as fellow Americans. Break down the temperature. If he was like this during the election, he was talking like, like diplomatic without the insult, without the characterization, without naming name callings, so without saying garbage, then then this is they would probably have a chance. They're still gonna lose, but they would not lose badly because because they re the, the way they the way they handled the campaign is they irritated probably a lot of people and and some 
even in my even in my posts and some of the comments that they put on my YouTube posts, they said that a lot of a lot of garbage is gonna turn out to vote. So meaning meaning that they are listening the news, listening to the news, and and they they are watching. That's why a lot of people came out to to vote. I don't know if that's the whole reason, but but I mean you you don't. You, you don't provoke people because when people are provoked, they, you know, they respond and they reply against the people who is the instigator or the provoker. So I think, so if he's been talking like this, like civil, calm, just issue without, without character assassination, but he did not do that. But now he's doing it. It's too late. I was hoping we could lay to rest the question about the integrity of the American electoral system. It is honest, it is fair, and it is transparent. And it can be trusted, win or lose. I also hope we can restore the respect for all our election workers who busted their necks and took risks at the outset. We should thank them. Thank them for staffing voting sites, counting the votes, protecting the very integrity of the election. Many of them are volunteers who do it simply out of love for their country. And as they did, as they did their duty as citizens, I will do my duty as president. I'll fulfill my oath and I will honor the Constitution. On January 20th, we'll have a peaceful transfer of power here in America. That's good. That's very promising and that's what I think the American people really want to happen the peaceful transfer of power that's good if, if that's very reassuring to all our incredible staff supporters cabinet members all the people who've been hanging out with me for the last four years God love you as my mother would say thank you so much you put so much in he's, he's happy <laughs> He looks happy, you know. At the campaign, at the campaign or during the campaign, Trump, Trump, I know Trump. Trump is. He was saying that he Biden likes him, like he likes him more than he likes Kamala. So I don't know, but but most of the time, Trump, Trump is right. So, and he said that uh, maybe Biden. Maybe the Bidens, like Joe and Jill, maybe they voted for Trump. <laughs> the, the past four years, I know it's a difficult time. You're hurting. I hear you and I see you. But don't forget, don't forget all that we accomplished. It's been a historic presidency. Not because I'm president, because what we've done, what you've done. A presidency for all Americans. Much of the work we've done is already being felt by the American people. The vast majority of it will not be felt, we felt over the next 10 years. We have, it, we, we have legislation we passed. that's just only now just really kicking in. We're gonna see over a trillion dollar human <laughs> infrastructure work done, changing people's lives in rural communities and communities that are in real difficulty because it takes time to get it done. And so much more it's going to take time but it's, it's too bad because like that time is not gonna come because whatever i don't really know but there are probably a lot of things that trump is just going to put it remove or reset you know and, and do it trump's way so i don't know that some of this policy that biden implemented uh, will be materialized um, I don't I don't really think so it will be reversed or it will be canceled it's there the road ahead is clear assuming we sustain it There's... no 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 <laughs> the road is not clear and it will not sustain because almost like 70 78 percent of America in the service said that they are in the wrong road that they are the road forward with the Bidens is not, and Kamala is, is the wrong way.
so much, so much we can get done and will get done based the way look. And no, 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 I cannot get done anymore. You, you just only have maybe, what, 70, 72, 74 days? No way. No way he cannot think. He, there's so many things done. No way that's going to happen. The session was passed. And it's truly historic. You know, we're leaving behind the strongest economy in the world. The strongest economy in the world? I don't, I don't get it. I don't understand. But why the American people said that the American economy is bad? It might be stronger in maybe in what they think, but the price of like the daily commodities are expensive, like bread, milk, rice, gasoline. Like these are the, the things that average common Americans are using and, there's, and some or more are struggling. I know people are still hurting. But things are changing rapidly. To get... What, what is changing rapidly? We've changed America for the better. Now we have 74 days to finish the term. Okay, 74 days to finish the term. This is pretty much like the transition period and like, yeah. And then President Trump is gonna, he said on day one he's gonna start. This is it and implement some of the implementable policies already. Our term. Let's make every day count. That's the responsibility we have to the American people. Look, folks, you all know it your lives. Setbacks are unavoidable. But giving up is unforgivable. Yeah. Setbacks are unavoidable, but giving up is unforgivable. Yeah. We all get knocked down. But the measure of our character, as my dad would say, is how quickly we get back up. Remember, a defeat does not mean we are defeated. We lost this battle. The America of your dreams is calling for you to get back up. That's the story of America for over 240 years and counting. It's a story for all of us, not just some of us. The American experiment endures. We're going to be okay. But we need to stay engaged. We need to keep going. And above all, we need to keep the faith. I'm so proud to have worked with all of you. I really mean it. I sincerely mean it. God bless you all. God bless America. And may God protect our troops. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Nice. <laughs> He's happy. He's happy. He's on his way to his retirement. Good job, Joe. <laughs> okay. assured American people there's going to be a peaceful transfer of power. That's good.